So I've been debating making this video for a while now because I don't really want to talk shit about potential sponsors and brands that want to work with me. But I feel like this has to be said because I know that there's a lot of other creators out there in the learn to code space that are probably taking some of these deals with these brands that sell promises and dreams and bullshit to people who don't really know any better. They target people who are new and just trying to break into the industry and are interested in getting into software development. And they do this by paying influencers a lot of money in order for them to promote their products that aren't that great. I'm going to just say right now, like, this is my opinion. I am just looking from the outside in as someone who's more experienced. I haven't used any of these platforms or services myself. I'm just trying to tell you what I think when I see these types of things. And I'm talking about these online learning platforms that charge a whole lot of money for different certificates or certifications or boot camps or programs that they claim will get you job ready. And they claim that they'll get you hired with a hefty price tag in a time when it's really, really hard to get hired. And the reason why I waited a while to make this video is because I entertain the idea of maybe potentially partnering with some of these brands. And I'm gonna mention brands by name. Um, there's three of them specifically that have contacted me a lot. And one of them that's fairly popular. And I'm not talking about smaller courses and tutorials and programs that are made by like content creators themselves or even different platforms like Zero to Mastery or others like that that charge a very reasonable fee. For instance, I think Zero to Mastery is like 35 bucks or less than $40 a month. And there's a lot of other platforms that have reasonable fees for the learning curriculums that they offer. And there's a lot of like content creators that create courses that are like under a hundred bucks. And like, that's reasonable. That's not life changing money. That's not going to break the bank. That's not going to put anybody in a tough position. That's not anything that you really have to like lose a lot of sleep over. If you spend a hundred bucks on something and you don't like it, it's not the end of the world, right? And a lot of those smaller creators and those smaller learning platforms offer like money back guarantees and things like that. So you, you're not at a lot of risk there. The platforms and curriculums and boot camps that I'm talking about are these online boot camps that are charging close to like a thousand dollars for you to take their course or their program. And they offer you certifications and certificates for completing their programs that don't really have any value and don't really hold any weight in the industry because these aren't accredited or widely acknowledged platforms that people will see and say like, oh, this person attended this boot camp that they paid $1,500 for. And that means that they're going to be completely job ready. The truth is that many learning platforms, many tutorials, many courses don't get you job ready. Even boot camps and college degrees don't necessarily get you completely job ready. There's always going to be a bit of self-learning. There's going to be a lot of effort that you're going to have to put in on your own and on your free time in order to prepare yourself to get job ready. And I'm sure that some of these platforms disclose that, but the way that they market themselves and the way that they target influencers to do these brand deals, to do these affiliate deals with, it's borderline predatory and shame on them and shame on the influencers for trying to make a quick buck and not having a little bit more integrity and to be honest with their audience rather than just see them for an opportunity to make some money. Like I said, this is all just my personal opinion, anecdotes and things like that. Like I don't know for sure, but I'm just calling it how I see it. And I just want to be as honest as I can be about what I think about these things. So just keep that in mind when I talk about these three particular companies and platforms that I'm going to mention right now. And all of these are kind of similar and they offer very similar learning paths and resources. And really they're, they're all kind of like the same thing with a different name, right? The first one I'm going to say is one that's called Odin School. And this is not to be confused with the Odin Project, although I think they chose the name Odin School because of it being similar to the Odin Project, maybe as a way to, you know, kind of trick people into thinking that they're affiliated or associated with them. This is a private paid resource 
named Odin School. They're just a paid platform that charges a hefty fee in order to teach you and get you job ready for a software development job. And I believe they offer other learning paths, but I'm gonna talk about software and web development because that's what I do and that's what I talk about on this channel and that's what I know and that's the things I'm gonna call out for these programs. But when I got emails from them, they wanted to pay me you know, large sums of money to either be affiliated with them and get a portion of the proceeds that I sell or get a flat rate or a combination of both. And I went and did my due diligence because that's what most influencers should do when someone reaches out to them and tries to partner with them. At least that's the right thing to do. And I, I looked at their website and I could just tell off the bat, like, this is not something that I personally can get behind. And again, like, I don't know anyone that's gone through these courses. I don't know anyone who's been successful with these courses. I haven't done a ton of research on these, but just if it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck and it walks like a duck, it's probably a duck. And I feel like I have enough experience and I know like good programs and I know good resources and I know reasonable, affordable things that you can do in order to learn how to code. And this wasn't one of them. None of these are one of those. The next one I want to mention, it's called Simply Learn. And same thing, same MO. They, they all do the same thing. They offer a, a learning path. They have their learning resources. They claim that they can get you job ready. They have maybe a few different things between one another, but essentially they kind of all offer the same exact thing. At the end, they're trying to charge you a ton of money in order to teach you to learn how to code and get a job. And the thing is that I, I don't believe it. I don't buy it in this market, in this economy. People who are going to full-fledged boot camps, college graduates, people with education and experience as professional developers are having a hard time getting a job. So these companies and brands that are making these big promises if you pay you know a few hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars to take their online course to get you a job it's just i'm finding it very hard to believe and just seeing how crappy these websites look like the odin school and simply learn have terrible looking websites like god you can't even you can't even use tailwind css to make this thing look a little bit nice like you don't even have designers look at odin school's website it looks outdated it doesn't look great it's really kind of mediocre looking for a platform that's teaching you to learn to code and web development it looks like the images are just terrible and they charge a fairly hefty fee. For instance, like just looking at one of their boot camps, it's $400 to complete one of their boot camps or $360. Like that's a lot of money f to learn React and JavaScript and HTML and CSS. Like it's not worth paying that much. It's like you can learn this stuff for free. You can learn it on YouTube. You can learn it on free code camp. You can learn it at the Odin project, the real Odin project, not Odin school that's trying to use a similar name. Simply learn. Their website is laid out very similar to the Odin School. It almost looks like they use the same template. It almost looks like the same exact school. As a matter of fact, they might be. I don't know. But then like if you go and you look at like what they offer and you see that they offer every buzzword in tech here and they offer a course and a boot camp for all of those different things. If you go and you check out their software development section, you'll see that they have like a lot of like just random stuff here like it's got ibm full stack developer with the mern stack like what is that even and then when you start checking it out and you see they it just you know generic copy they have a stock image here with you know a really happy guy sitting at a computer that looks like they photoshopped the text editor into that monitor and you see it's like oh you know 60 ratings and five stars i'm pretty sure those ratings aren't real and you look and you see all of these different things with like course report and trust pilot which everybody knows that you can't even trust those resources to get an honest review and course report was recently purchased i think by a uh, job board website if i'm not mistaken i heard that or i saw that on reddit recently so you like you can't trust these things and it's like fifteen hundred dollars for a full stack software developer course fifteen hundred dollars like i said earlier in this video when i endorse 
things that cost 40 or 50 bucks a month, or if I say like, go buy this content creator's course for $30 or for even a hundred dollars, like that's not a large amount of money. Like $1,500 is a large amount of money. $1,500 to some people is their savings. I remember when I was younger, I remember when I didn't have a lot of money. If you asked me to pay $1,500 for something, like I couldn't do it. Like I would have to get in debt for that. And while $1,500 right now for me doesn't seem like it's crazy and it may not seem that way for you if you're older and you have some savings and you have some money, but if you're someone who doesn't and you go and you see these things and you think like, well, if I put this up, like that's going to be an investment in my education and they claim that they'll get me hired and, and they claim to offer all these great things. Like I should do that. I, I should do that because it's a smart call. It's cheaper than a boot camp. It's cheaper than college. And I, I could maybe get a job doing this. And then you realize you pay this 1500 bucks and, and you're still a little better off than you were after you complete this course, but then you have this bad taste in your mouth because you realize that you paid a lot of money for stuff that you didn't need to because there were free resources that pretty much offered the same exact thing that these platforms are offering. And it's just, like I said, it's, it's predatory. And that's just one of their courses on here. They have other courses that cost a ton of money. It's crazy. Like their Python training, like, let's just look at their Python training, right? Let's take a look here. How much is their Python? Like, look at this, like the, the Python training for self-paced learning, which is just a nice way to say self-taught is $850. Like that's a lot of money to learn Python. Like, dude, you could do a few YouTube videos and get an understanding of Python. Like this is just, it's, terrible. And that's why I decided to make this video because I got sick of these companies reaching out to me and offering me a 50, 50 split with every sale I get and offering me thousands of dollars in order to do a video. And I know that there's other creators out there. I know that there's a bunch of other sellouts out there that make learning the code content that market this stuff and claim that they back it because they think it's good. They don't, they just get paid for it. And I've decided that I'm not going to take any of these deals because I don't want to work with companies like this because it's just not fair to the people who are spending their money on these things and are beginners who are just getting started and trying to like improve their lives and make a good decision to get fooled by influencers who are just trying to make money. And it's, it's, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. And I, I am not going to call out any influencers personally, but I am going to call out these brands. And if you see an influencer recommending these companies, see if they even have looked at any of this curriculum, if they've even taken a single one of these courses to be able to sit here with a straight face and claim that they recommend it because it's good and not because they're getting paid. All right, sorry, a little rant. The last one I want to talk about, and this one I was on the fence about mentioning because it's one of the better of the bunch that has been contacting me, but it is the same shit with better marketing and some popular faces. And this one was hard for me because the creators that have worked or have made videos for this platform that I'm about to mention are creators that I respect, creators that I've personally have talked to, that I, I know on a YouTuber level. I, I've chatted with a few of these developers in different DMs and I think they make good content and I think they teach well and many of them have their own courses and material that they sell and I'm assuming that they were paid to make some courses for this particular brand that I'm gonna mention for their platform and there's nothing wrong in that. But I will say that this platform, which is course careers, no more mystery there, is doing a lot of social media influencer marketing and I see them everywhere for all kinds of different niches and for all kinds of different genres of YouTube videos and I see them being marketed by a lot of different people. I've seen financial videos market their stuff and be like, you wanna you know, fix your life and fix your credit and fix your debt, you should get a job. And a good way to do it is to go through course careers. And it's like, how can you even market that? You haven't used it, but they pay well. They, they pay very, very well. So they're paying people a lot of money. 
I just wanted to mention that because I feel like that has to be said. I feel like there needs to be more transparency in the industry. As I mentioned, Course Career seems like one of the better ones, better talent making their videos, but they offer the same dream. They offer the same promises. You pay us eight, $900 or however much it is to do one of their curriculums. I think it's about 800 bucks. Let me check. It's free to 799. You know, they talk about like the starting salary, how many jobs there are, and their copy and landing page here looks great. And they use influencers that have big followings to make their videos. It's the same bullshit, the same exact thing. They let you get in for free, do an introductory course. You can pay them in installments. You can pay them in a one-time fee, what they offer you and blah, 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 blah. I get a job, do this, do that. It's not that they probably don't have decent material. That's not what this is about. It's, it's the same reason why I don't like coding boot camps. It's the same reason why I feel that unless you're taking a traditional college route in order to learn how to code, like there's no reason to spend so much money to learn this stuff. And it's what I've been saying since the beginning of my channel. It's not that course careers or, you know, Odin school or simply learn don't have things that can teach you how to code. That's not my gripe here. That's not what frustrates me with this. It's that they charge a lot of money for things that are free or not, you know, a thousand dollars. Things that if you do a little bit of research, you can go find, but they, they prey on people who are uncertain. They prey on people who feel that they need more structure. They prey on people who don't know any better because they know that if they market things and use the right resources and the right people to push out their product, that they can get sales. But once you actually start doing some research on the, these companies and you start typing in like uh, course career reviews or you type in things like simply learn review into Google and into Reddit and you start reading what people are saying about them, you'll know that what I'm saying here holds a lot of weight and all of those influencers that are telling you to make purchases to get the curriculum that these platforms offer like man just beware buyer beware at the end of the day maybe their material isn't that bad and maybe if you pay this much money you can get a job doing it but my whole point is is that there's ways to do it without spending so much money. And I feel that more people need to talk about that because there's too many people that are jumping on social media because they know that they can get paid by these brands and they have large enough followings where these companies want to pay them. They actively seek them out because I have gotten a ton of emails. I've gotten a ton of DMS from all of these different companies bugging me, hounding me to work with them because they know that people in my audience will be an easy sale for them. And they, they take advantage of people, or at least I feel that they take advantage of people who are just trying to make improvements in their life because they want to break into a career in tech and get a new job and make more money. It just goes back to in a gold rush, you make more money selling picks and shovels than you do mining for gold. And a lot of these influencers and a lot of these platforms and boot camps and online schools are selling picks and shovels. And the thing is that the gold rush is dying down right now and it's getting harder and harder for people to actually get jobs. But when you see things that say that they can get you hired, it makes you think that maybe if you paid for this, it would give you a better opportunity and it's not always the case. So just do your research, do your due diligence. Really, really don't just take any influencer's word for it before you click buy, before you put your credit card information, before you get in debt or before you spend a ton of money on any of these things, go out, try to learn some of this stuff on your own for free and see if you like it. If you do, then do some more research on if maybe paying for something is worth it and will actually help you get to where you want to be. But I don't think you need to be paying this much. And there's a lot of other stuff that offers you a lot of the same things for a fraction of the cost or for free. All right. With that said, I'm going to finish this rant. I feel like I've kind of been going on and on. It's just, I, it's been bugging me and I wanted to make a video about this and that's it. So again, do your research and watch out for all these people trying to sell you the dream because a lot of the times they're full of shit.
All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.